Ranger Joe here. I've got Freddy again, so you know we're still talking about snakes. And today we're going to talk about snake behavior. So one of the most common snakes people see are the black snakes. But there's actually a couple different kinds. One is the black rat snake, which is a close cousin to the corn snake. They both have small eyes, and they use their sense of smell instead of their eyesight, or more than their eyesight. And because of that, a lot of times you'll see them with their head down on the ground as they move across the ground. The other black snake is the black racer. And the black racer has much bigger eyes and uses its eyesight more. And because of that, they do what I call the periscope move. You'll see their body on the ground, but they'll raise their head up over the leaves and the grass so they can see better. And so if you ever see a black snake that's sort of taken off away from you and their head is up off the ground as they're moving, that's usually the black racer. Some of the most remarkable and sometimes entertaining behavior that you'll see are, are snakes' defense mechanisms or their defense behaviors. So if a snake is ever startled, you come across a snake in the woods, say, they, there's several different things that they might do. The first is they usually will rely on their camouflage. They hope you don't see them. And this guy here, he's bright orange and sort of reddish color. And a lot of people say, well, he doesn't look very well camouflaged. But this guy lives in the pine forest. And when the pine needles fall off the trees, that's what color they are. He's extremely well camouflaged on the pine forest floor. The next thing that they'll try to do is to escape, try to get away if they think they can have a clear shot and get away from you. But if they don't think they can get away, then that's when they do these fascinating defense mechanisms or defense behaviors. So one thing like these corn snakes and black rat snakes will do is they'll try to act like a venomous snake. And one of the first things you'll see them do a lot of times is they'll flatten their head and they'll flatten their body and it'll make their head appear to be like a venomous snake. Let's see if I can get Freddy to cooperate. He'll push his jaw bones out and sort of flatten his head so it's triangle-shaped or arrow-shaped. And it looks like a venomous snake when he does that. Another thing I've seen him do is they'll vibrate their tail in the leaves. And when they do that in dry leaves, it sounds a lot like one of these right here. And that can be very scary. And so a lot of non-venomous snakes have been killed because people think they're venomous snakes. Another behavior that you might see is, is this little snake called the northern red belly. And he does what we call the lip curl. So try to curl your lips back and show your teeth and your gums off. Yeah, he, he curls his upper lip. And it's this tiny little snake about the size of a pencil. And he curls his upper lip. And, and he's got teeny tiny teeth, but what he's showing off are his gums that are sort of white. And they got these, these little lines on them. And it looks like big teeth for the size head he has. And so that's what the northern red belly snake does. Then there's a couple others like the mud snake and the ringneck snakes that they've got a bright belly. And what they'll do is they'll curl up and they'll hide their head underneath their body and they'll expose their tail and then they'll flip their tail upside down to show that bright color. And so that's one behavior that they'll do. A lot of snakes when they get scared will do something called musk. And, and what it is, is is out of their cloaca, their opening, they'll They'll put out a nasty, foul-smelling musk, and it's used to try to, to keep something from trying to eat them. And then there's my absolute favorite snake. It's called the eastern hognose snake. His nose is pointed up like this. That's why they call him the hognose snake. And what he does when he gets scared is he tries to act like a big, mean snake. You see, he's a harmless little snake. He's usually only about two foot or less. And... When he gets scared, he lifts his head up off the ground. He'll flatten his neck out like a cobra does. Start swaying back and forth, hissing. Shh, shh. And then sometimes they're even known to strike. But they won't even open their mouth. They'll just hit you with their nose. So they're trying to act all big and mean. And when this doesn't work, then they go to plan B, which is playing dead. Just like that. So they're acting big and mean, hissing. Shh. And then all of a sudden, bloop, they'll flip upside down. Sometimes they'll open their mouth, hang their tongue out. And then every once in a while, they'll even pop a blood vessel in their mouth. 
so blood will drip out of its mouth to make it convincing. So, so the hognose snakes are known as the best actors of the snake world. And so that's why you can see that sometimes their behaviors can be quite entertaining. And so these snakes have all these different behaviors to try to keep you or to try to keep a predator from bothering them. And usually as a last resort is when they'll bite. So, if you ever see a snake while you're out in the woods, just keep your distance and watch. You never know what remarkable or entertaining behavior you might see.